Let's get it fast. Bye. Take a deep breath. I'm fine. Okay. I will not be. You're good. You're good. Hello. Hello. Um, for those who don't know me, I am Danny, the brother of the bride, and best friends with this guy, Dylan. And all I really have to say is, this is what happens when you let your friends hang around with your family. So, learn from my mistake. Dylan and Rachel, I want you both to look out at the sea of faces that sit before you today. Every single one of these individuals have come from near and far for one reason and one reason only. Because they love you. Catching my attention I'm Sinking or swimming, I'll still find I'm just along for the ride Rachel, you are about to make Dylan the happiest man in the world. And Dylan, you are about to join me in the fraternity of men that have married way out of their league, okay? Rachel, standing here today is a little surreal. Part of me thinks we should still be playing Pretty Pretty Princess and dressing Danny up as our little sister. You ready, Father? I hardly have a memory that does not include you in some way. They say sisters are friends you don't get to choose, but I think that's what makes us more than friends. We're family. I hope you know how proud I am of the woman you have become. You were born to be a stunning bride, a fantastic nurse, and a wonderful wife. No one deserves happily ever after more than you. There's no change change has come. When I first met you, you were just one of Danny's annoying friends. <laughs> then you had the guts to ask my dad if you could date Rachel. I want to say a very special thank you to Larry and Jean Fobian. Not only for treating me as a son of your very own from the very beginning, but for raising the woman of my dreams. You can turn around. And bye. <laughs> Hi, babe. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Mm. You look so pretty. Thank you. Mm. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Mm. You look so beautiful. Mm. How was your dad? <laughs> <laughs> Real bad. bad. Although I never imagined I would marry my younger brother's best friend, there are many positives in doing so. One, when you need someone to talk to about me, you'll go to Danny. If anyone else knows my shortcomings, it's Danny. But if anyone else knows my heart, it is also Danny. I am so glad he is standing on the other side of you today. From the moment I received the blessing to be in a relationship with you from your dad and your brother, I was relieved. My first thought was, I'm relieved to still be alive. <laughs> uh, but in fact, I was actually relieved not to have my heart broken. For as long as I can remember, I prayed for you. As a little girl, 
I prayed my husband would be handsome. As a teenager, I prayed he would be entertaining. And as a woman, I prayed he would be hardworking and family oriented. While you possess all these traits, you are so much more. I knew there was something special about you, something that I had never felt before or about anybody else. But little did I know this was only the beginning. From the day our relationship officially began, my feelings towards you grew exponentially. I have never met someone who is so incredibly easy to talk to, and I have never been able to trust someone as much as I trust you. Remember, remember to look back on this day as one of your happiest ever. Remember what drew you to each other and how you fell in love. Remember to take time for your relationship, and yours will be a long and happy marriage. Glasses up, everyone. <laughs> May you share your hopes and dreams, and they all come true. May you always be surrounded by the people who love you. May you fall in love many times, always with each other, and may you one day be blessed to be a mother and a father. To Rachel and Dylan. So let it rain down, let it pour. slow down and enjoy life more. Most importantly, I promise to love you wholeheartedly, without pause, for now and always. I see these vows as not only promises, but privileges. I am honored to love you. I have faith we will create a home that is not just filled with IKEA furniture, but rather lots of pranks, the sound of tiny feet, and lazy Sundays in bed. I promise to work as hard as I can to make your dreams come true. And I promise to strive to be the best man you could ever ask for and to stand by your side and support you for as long as I shall live. I'm so incredibly thankful to be standing up here with you today. And I cannot wait to have you by my side as we go through life together and see what God has in store for us. Because with you and only you, I feel like I can conquer the world. tomorrow and for eternity. But Rachel, the thing I want you to know most is that I love you. Dylan and Rachel, by the power vested in me, by the state of Iowa, and much more importantly by our Father in Heaven, I now pronounce you both husband and wife. Dylan, you may kiss your bride. I love you. I love you. God, I cried more than you did. Oh.